with Frat Pops and Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to make some mini monster books of monsters to hold your standard size post-it notes. So for this you're going to need some fur. I've got some rainbow one and just a plain brown one as well as some little foam sheets. You can also use felt and some googly eyes and obviously glue and double-sided tape. So step one this is the lining foam, so you need to measure your post-it notes, whatever size you've got. Mine are 8 by 8 so you just want it to be slightly bigger than your post-it notes. And, and then attach your fur. So we have, we're going to have a lovely rainbow one, just for something different. So I'm going to use double sided tape to attach the fur because it doesn't tend to, mostly because I don't have fabric glue, but the double sided tape works well. You want your fur to come over the outside of your foam. So when you flip it over, you want to be able to see the fur. Now these ones, the rainbow one and the brown one, are just made with offcuts from a larger project. So it's a great way to use up leftovers once you're done making a big monster book of monsters. As well as any cosplay costumes you might make. It's always hard to use up scraps. Now once you've got that, I just want you to take your post-it notes, slip them inside your book and fold it close. And then come to the edge here and try and pull your foam out of the way. Now I want you, you need to run another side of double sided tape along the seam so you get a nice neat edge. Try and do it exactly the length you need. Next step is to add some eyes. Now, in the Monster Book, the monsters is, has three eyes, so our little ones are going to have three little eyes. So I'm just using a little bit of wood glue. To randomly attach my eyes. Obviously our monster book of monsters needs a tongue. So we're just going to draw a rough tongue shape, keeping in line with the size of the monster. Mine's going to have a tongue like that. And we'll just cut him out. Nice and neatly like that. And then all you want to do is peel him in. Now, in the movies, the Monster Book of Monsters is kind of sticking his tongue out like that. Off to one side, if you want to follow with that. So we're just going to stick him right there on the end. Just get a little bit more glue. Once you've done that, stick your post-it notes back in your monster. Now, the monster needs some teeth, so I've just got a little bit of white foam here. Now, again, I'm just randomly drawing the teeth. Okay. Now, for this, you want to keep a little bit of overlap for your teeth. So don't cut them neat. If you see how I've cut them, I've left this strip at the top. You need that strip to glue him into your monster. Now 
right, so what you're going to do then is take a ruler, it's here somewhere, press it onto the edge of where your teeth start, and just press it in and fold your teeth. The fold back piece so that your teeth are sticking out. So folding it down over the ruler, along that edge, because you want your teeth to stick out. And then placing them inside your monster. For your first roll of teeth. Now exactly the same way on the bottom teeth. Keeping in mind that you need to make sure you have room for that tongue to stick out. So just start your teeth a little bit further back because the tongue is going to hide them. So chuck your post-its out again, <laughs> and this time we're going to attach our teeth. Obviously we're going to fold them so that our pen marks are not showing on the outside. So I'm just going to refold this one so that it's a nice clean white foam showing. And exactly the same with the bottom jaw. Just sliding it slightly under the tongue so it looks like the teeth are coming to the edge there. Now that one's that one finished with all these little teeth. Now, for the brown one, it's pretty much the same, except we don't need to worry about the overlapping on the edge because I'm using a larger off-cut of foam. And I have a full piece of fur because I have all left over of the brown fur and they put the rainbow one. So same again. This one has got a more stable backing, so we're just going to use glue on this one. Now I didn't cut the brown fur exactly to size, so I could show you. Now you want a little bit of overlap on the side. But obviously not that much. So we're just going to trim it up based on the size of the square, leaving about a you want about a mil over the edge to give it that fairy monster look. Everything else is pretty much the same with this one. We're going to glue on some googly eyes. And then the same again, we want a tongue. This time I think I'm going to go with a round tongue. I'm actually going to wait to stick the tongue in this time. I'm going to give him a line, just like a normal tongue. But I'm going to wait because I'm going to glue the teeth in first. But that's how he looks with his tongue. Might put the tongue in a little bit more. Stick me a little bit too far. There we go. Now, we're going to do the same theory on the teeth. Why don't you put your teeth again with the folding? We 
if you press down with the ruler, you get a nice line to kind of fold along into the foam. If you're using felt, it's the same basic method, but you may need to use something to actually press the teeth, because they may not hold as well. Once you've got your teeth all nicely standing up, Once you've got your teeth attached, move on and stick your bottom row on. Again, make your bottom row slightly shorter, so there's room for your tongue to stick out. Line them up neatly with one side or the other, depending on where you've decided to put the tongue. And then attach the tongue in as well. And there we have it. Two monster books to keep your post-its nice and safe. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed watching us please subscribe thank you